Well, we've looked at a lot of staff. Uh, as uh, probably is well known now, we've applied for planning for, um, for staff rooms, and another bar, another restaurant, uh, and some more bedrooms. Um, and in, as part of that process, we looked at the sustainability of the island. Um, and that included um, wind, solar, uh, wave motion, um, um, uh, ground source heating, water source heating, air source uh, heating. Um, uh, it was a very interesting uh, journey to find out what worked and uh, what didn't work. What did you find out? We found out that the fetch on the tide wasn't big enough to give us much power whatsoever. Uh, we found out uh, that the, the heat, so the air and ground and water source uh, weren't very effective and you needed pumps uh, which obviously use electricity so you're just using more electricity. What we found out was that solar is still good and as many of you know we have solar on the island and we're planning in for more solar uh, which hopefully will be well received on the roof so it will be, not be seen. Um, and the other thing we were told is one thing that really works very very well is wind. <laughs> and if we had one of those big big turbines as high as the island on the island we could power not just the whole hotel but the whole of Big Brion Sea but I kind of think that's probably uh, not going to get past any planning permission. <laughs>